What is good, everybody? Today we're back with a brand new WWE action figure setup, and it is WrestleMania 40 edition. WrestleMania 40 is here, man. They are dubbing it the biggest WrestleMania of all time. And today we do have our backstage full. We got the GM's office full, man. We're ready to dive into the WrestleMania 40 WWE action figure setup here on the channel, man. Can't wait to dive into it with you. Always enjoy these, getting into details and things like that. So with that being said, man, let's dive into each detail of this setup, breaking down all of the lore and get into it. All right, man, so if we go into the GM's office, if you go through this door here, you will lead into the GM's office here, or really, it's it's been, it used to be the GM's office. Now, it has kind of been turned into the Bloodline headquarters, I guess you could say. You got Roman Reigns here, the tribal chief, the undisputed champion, defending the championship here at WrestleMania, of course. He's got his undisputed championship right here. Huge shout-out to my man, Dan Turnquist, for the championship. Got the cell phone on the table there. But we do have this Roman Reigns. He's even got his watch on there. Paul Heyman looking on. Solo Sokoa over here as well. And of course, we have the final boss, The Rock, standing here. Got the glasses on and everything like that. Ready to do war with Roman Reigns on the same team on night number one. And then we have Jimmy over here, who of course is going to battle with Jey Uso at WrestleMania. So we do have the whole bloodline here kind of prepping, ready to go to war at WrestleMania 40, man. Can't wait for these matchups. I really am super excited to see The Rock and Roman Reigns team up. Where the hell is it going to go? I'm actually filming this before Friday night smackdown but this is being posted also before friday night smackdown so i have no idea what's going to take place at the show however i am intrigued to see exactly what happens at the show and you know what happens leading into night number one and then what happens leading into night number two because you guys know the rock and roman reigns are are teaming together to take on rollins and cody this is good stuff man i'm looking forward to it but i definitely had to represent the bloodline here you got them all together the undisputed championship i think we're going to see some shenanigans take place at wrestlemania now if we come out of the gm's office we do have drew mcintyre right here drew mcintyre is actually looking on and we'll get into where he's looking in a moment the line of sight is quite comical to be honest with you but drew mcintyre been on a hell of a run here but you have to have drew mcintyre i think he will capture the championship at wrestlemania at least that's what my brain's telling me right now my predictions won't go up till tomorrow so i'll give it some time to sort of marinate but we'll see about that we also have la knight over here drinking a cup of coffee I guess, you know, prepping for his big matchup with AJ Styles. Pretty intriguing. I think this is an underrated feud going into WrestleMania season. But AJ Styles and LA Knight, I bet they're going to have a pretty good matchup there at WrestleMania. Going just beyond that, man, you will see we have CM Punk talking with the doctors. And he also has AJ Lee here. It really does date the figures when you look at that AJ Lee figure, man. That AJ Lee figure, as good as it was at the time, man. And they also still use that damn boot mold she's got on. But that AJ Lee figure, if you look at the head sculpt, it's so funny how far they've come with Mattel and how realistic the head sculpts look nowadays but we do have cm punk here i did make this sort of current 2024 cm punk with the elbow brace here kind of put a knee brace on there because that's you know he's been wearing an elbow brace so he's got his hoodie on there his t-shirt rocking the baseball hat talking to the doctor here shout out to ted dibiase the doctor over here but you know we were supposed to get that cm punk seth rollins matchup or those plans fell through and i think it turned out pretty damn good for us man all things considered we got some intriguing stuff regardless of what was going to take place i'm pretty happy with where we are heading into wrestlemania 40 but we have Punk talking to the doctors on the shelf, missing out this year on WrestleMania. And if we go to the left a little bit, you'll see Randy Orton going through the locker room door, coming out there, ready to go to war, obviously, with Kevin Owens and Logan Paul for the United States Championship. Should be a fun matchup. Definitely looking forward to that. Randy Orton and Kev Kevin Owens, two of my favorite guys to watch. So I'm looking forward to that matchup. Coming a little bit forward, man, we do have the women's champion. We have EO Sky talking to Bailey here. And Bailey kind of, you know, getting up in her grill saying, you know, I'm coming for that championship. I think Bailey, you know, with that win at the Royal Rumble, I think we're finally going to get a new babyface run here as champion for Bailey. And that matchup should be really fun. I can't wait for that one. That one's an underrated one as well. Night two is looking absolutely stacked for WrestleMania 40, but we do have Bailey coming up claiming she's going to win that championship. Wait forward from that, man, we do have Chad Gable sort of getting in Sami Zayn, you know, trying to coach him up a little bit there. I don't like the lighting. Let's get some better lighting over here. But Chad Gable is pointing at, you know, Sami Zayn telling him to get going, man. I don't know if you guys saw the vignette or the sort of, I mean, it was basically like a movie trailer the way they were doing it, man. But Chad Gable was training Sami Zayn, trying to get him prepped for Gunther and the Intercontinental Championship match at WrestleMania. And that was pretty damn good, man. I mean, I felt like I was watching a Hallmark movie or a Rocky movie or something like that. They had me super inspired to watch that. So I, I was I was feeling that. So he's kind of training here, doing some push-ups. And we got Chad Gable pointing at him and, you know, shouting at him, getting him ready. 
Now, from there, man, we move into our six women tag team match, which I think is another underrated matchup on the card. Naomi, Bianca Belair, and Jade teaming together to take on damage control over here with Dakota Kai, Asuka, and Kyrie Sane. Another matchup I'm very much looking forward to. Tons of great figures here, man. Elite 104, Dakota Kai, the Ultimate Edition Asuka, which I still feel is the best women's figure that Mattel's ever made right here. I mean, this figure has all the bells and whistles. It's unbelievable. But we have Kyrie Sane here, and, and I don't have my Ultimate Bianca out of the packaging. I need to open that one up. But we have that Shop AEW Jade figure that's absolutely towering over everybody. But she's pretty big, so, you know, it, I guess it works out. But we do have the six women tag. I guess these women ready to come to blows here in the setup. We move a little bit forward, man. We have sort of just some, uh, I don't know, some tensions in the Judgment Day. We have Dominic here, and he's kind of pleading his case. You know, he's got that tag team matchup at WrestleMania, and we've kind of seen these things kind of start to unfold on Monday Night Raw and different shows, right? We're starting to see dissension in the Judgment Day. You got Damian Priest over here. I don't know when the hell that man's going to cash in. Oh, my God in heaven. Naomi and Jade are falling over. Hate to see it. But I don't know when this man's going to cash in. I low-key don't really want him to win the championship, so I don't know when the hell he's going to cash that in. But we do have Dominic sort of, you know, talking with the Judgment Day, Mommy and Finn Balor over here getting on him and stuff. So we'll see exactly how this plays out. I do not see them. I do not foresee them retaining their championships at Mania in that big ladder match. I think they are going to fail. So we'll have to see what plays out. But, yeah, we have all these guys arguing here in the setup. Coming to the right a little bit, we do have Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate. Low-key want them to win the tag titles. I think this would be an excellent win. I think it comes down to them or DIY. I could see some other teams winning it, obviously. And I really wish, no offense to the Awesome Truth, which we'll get into in just a moment, but I really would have liked to seen, you know, the Street Profits or something like that in that matchup, to be real, at WrestleMania in that ladder match. But I do have faith in Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate. They're one of my t favorite teams going right now. And then, of course, we have DIY dapping them up right here. They're looking forward to their Mania match. I think they're going to be focused and ready to go for their matchup. I would love to see DIY or Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate bring it home for the, you know, the undisputed tag titles. So we'll see what takes place. But I am so looking forward to that matchup. Probably the matchup I'm most looking forward to outside of a couple others. And if we come back here, man, we do have our truth making hot dogs. So he has a full, a full grill set up back here, man. I mean, he has an entire grill set up. If we move him out of the way here, he's cooking hot dogs on this grill. And the Miz is like, what the hell are you doing cooking indoors on this grill? And now these damn feet don't want to stand. I'm sure our truth is like, you know, I'm sorry, did you want one or something? And, you know, I could I could see this being a funny quip or something like that that would take place on a Raw or something like that. So we have awesome truth here. Yeah, I, I really didn't want him in the ladder match, but I'm sure that it'll make for some fun hijinks. We'll get our truth in there acting a fool. And, you know, regardless if they're in it or not, I'm still looking forward to the matchup. But I thought this was funny for our truth. It seems like something he would do, right? Just out of nowhere, just cooking hot dogs in the backstage area leading up to WrestleMania. Tell me that wouldn't happen. Just beyond that, man, we do have the Intercontinental Champion. We have Gunther with the IC title, and we do have Ludwig Kaiser kind of trailing him there. I think Sami Zayn and Gunther are going to tear the house down at WrestleMania in their Intercontinental Championship match, and I had to have them represented man longest reigning intercontinental champion here in gunther cannot wait to see him and Sami Zayn in the middle of the ring i think it's going to steal the weekend more than likely going to be match of the year i'm just putting it out there man they're going to burn it down over there but gunther had to be over here and then we do have a town down under discussing their plan so we have all these different tag teams represented in our wrestlemania 40 setup leading into that ladder match again very hyped for that ladder match but I'm not the biggest fans of these guys, but uh, I think that uh, hopefully they can put on a good showing. I'm, I'm excited for it, man. You have so many people in that match, it's going to be utter chaos, and that's what we love. We love chaos, especially when you throw in some ladders and some wrestling at WrestleMania, man. I mean, that has a pretty damn good track record, so we do have Theory and Grayson Waller. We go just beyond that. We do have the United States Champion Logan Paul getting interviewed here. So we do have him getting interviewed. He's prepping for his U.S. title match with Kevin Owens and Randy Orton. I just really didn't have another spot for him, so I figured why not get him an interview over here. He's got the jeans on, got the promo street gear on, ready to go to war. Hopefully this man has a good gear on this time. I feel like he still hasn't had good gear. We come forward a little bit. We do have my man Kevin Owens walking through. I really wanted to separate them a little bit because, you know, I don't think you'd have them this close. But, you know, you mix tones of realism mixed with tones of actual you know wwe television events that are happening so we do have kevin owens walking through right there which i thought was pretty good i always like to have guys walking through it really creates a sense of realism and submerges you into the illusion of the setup if we go in the back back here man we do have jay uso and jay uso is set for a huge matchup with his brother jimmy jay uso is is just sort of a loner right now man he's he's by himself he's trying to focus up because he knows how big this matchup is and i think that their matchup is going to be a case where after Jey Uso wins, I think he puts it through to Jimmy 
that, you know, he doesn't need to help The Rock or, or Roman Reigns. I think that's going to be sort of the, the thing that plays out, and it's going to end up helping Cody Rhodes in the end, and it's all just going to be beautiful cinema. So we'll have to see, but we do have... Jay Uso with his Jeet shirt on, just chilling here, trying to focus up for his matchup with Jimmy. And then over here, we do have AJ Styles in the catering area. I know his, uh, we do have him in the solid black gear, which, you know, was, I'm glad he finally put some tights back on, but he's trying to get some food here as he preps for his matchup with LA Knight. Very much looking forward to that, as we stated before. But uh, yeah, we just have him kind of chilling and catering right here, trying to get some grub. And then over here, man, I think this is something that potentially could take place. John Cena and Stone Cold Steve Austin sneaking in the back door here of the backstage setup. I think that he, they could come to save the day with Roman Reigns and The Rock. Who knows? We'll have to see about that. I would be intrigued if that happened. You know, I would obviously come unglued if that happened. Two of my favorite wrestlers of all time, of course, John Cena and Stone Cold Steve Austin. But we will have to see, man. You never know. Never say never. You know, Steve Austin did receive an Easter basket from somebody randomly. Was it Cody Rhodes? Did he deliver some, some beer so he could get some help at Mania? We will have to see. But I did want to have these guys kind of coming in the back door. We did that for a few times with Roman Reigns and The Rock leading up to, you know, different events. And we finally got The Rock. So maybe this one could take place as well. And getting into the end of the setup, man, I guess I'll knock it out right here. The New Day are just kind of chatting in the corner. Again, they are also a big part of that ladder match at WrestleMania for the tag titles. But then we have Cody and Seth Rollins with their wives talking it out, discussing. They're both laughing, having a good time. But should they be laughing, Brad? I don't know. But they do have their suits on. I thought this was a nice still shot because you have the world champion Rollins. They are going to team up. I'm, I don't know, man. I don't know if I could trust Rollins, man. You know, he mentioned something about a plan B. And last time he had a plan B, it didn't go so well for the people that he was supporting or quote unquote supporting. So we'll have to see about that. Maybe it's nothing. Maybe it is nothing. Maybe he continues on. But I am uh, very hyped for their matchups. Not only the tag team match, of course, they've done a fantastic job building the thing. But also their one-on-one -on -one championship matches, which is what it's all about. But that tag team match is really going to you know, have a ripple effect on everything across WWE, of course, so this should be fun, man, but we do have Becky and Brandy as well, but I had to get, or, uh, I, I don't know, I don't think, I don't think Seth Rollins is leaving his champion at WrestleMania, but I do, I truly hope that Cody Rhodes does capture the championship, finish the story, I was there at front row at the Royal Rumble to see him win the Rumble, I was there on the floor to see him lose to Roman Reigns after just wanting to see him finish the story, then I was there again in person on the floor to see him win the second Rumble in a row, and now I'm ready to witness him actually capture the championship. So we will have to see about that, man. But I think that pretty much wraps up our setup. As you guys can see, I did have some things fall over and stuff like that. It's always very tedious and stuff setting up the, you know, setting up the figure setups. But it's very fun. It's always something I like to do. So you can, you know, it, I don't know. It kind of just immerses you into that world into, in action figure form. And I always think it's fun. But I'm looking forward to WrestleMania 40, man. Cannot wait for it. Should be great. And at the time you're seeing this, we've already seen new reveals at WWE World and stuff. So I hope the damn reveals were good. But that is pretty much going to wrap up the video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts on the setup and WrestleMania 40 down below. What do you expect out of the show? Who are you hoping wins? Leave your predictions down in the comment section below. But I am getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate you fellas over there, man. Thank you guys so very much. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.